Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. Okay. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Now, now, you, now you know we, we not going to do that now. Come on now. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. But every time I come here, I forget which way to go. Come on, man. You know the drill. You can drive. Come on, man. What a Uber. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. A coroner? What are we looking for the coroner for? Is that where we supposed to be going? Where the hell is the crash site? My bad, y'all, man. I'm going the wrong way. Where the hell is the car? Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Why is she looking like this? She's still under them drawers, ain't she? What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. <laughs> oh. 41? Oh, I'm cool. I don't we understand want to that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. You're just, gonna, you're just gonna lie to my face like that, huh? It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. You is old. Get your ass back. Don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. <laughs> you were giving me a thorough going over. I was just starting to enjoy it. We need to go. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to go look at this car first before we do anything this else. Is Where is it at? What the hell are you doing, boy? Scoping the area out? Boy, look at that camera. Go down here, cuz. Oh, I got to drive down there or something? Take this car. That's cool. They're going to let him drive. That's cool. 
Are they gonna let me drive? Alright, well. Oh, oh, oh. My bad. Where am I supposed to get down here? Oh, well, I'll go this way. Oh, see. I was finna drive the car down the hill. My, my bad, y'all. Hey! Man, FBI, man. LAPD. Get your ass back. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Who old ass panties up here? Oh, they ripped. Oh. And torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace. Man, put it down. Back to the lab. The greasy, greasy granny got holes in the panties. Boy, it's nobody finna read this. She's a long way from home. Her mama knows she out here home, and that's what it is. Get out of the way. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Yeah. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? But what in the world is this? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Oh. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Got a little African head, put that down. We need this shit. Demon this thing, that shit. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? Man, move. If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Move. Damn, now let's go ask her some questions, because we went straight into there, and, and, and that's how we knew. We ain't on all the questions. Hamina, 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 hamina. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name. Man, we already seen all this, woman. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. Keep out of this. We already asked her that, but let's go again. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Your husband ain't gonna do nothing, okay? What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Man, hey man, we found some panties in that out. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Why, yes, I do. Them toe up panties. You thought I wasn't gonna know that? Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a cast. What kind of cast? Cast and couch? Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Man, let me find an old boy right there, man. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, 
I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obvious. Are you looking at the movie prop? You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Whatever. You I know, know who he is. What happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder? Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after. My lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. A heel? Damn drugs she on. Good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. What kid? We gotta go to the hospital. You know the way. You can drive. So, where you want to go? The hospital, fool. KGP the car 11, K11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. Reception area. Hey, woman, why the hell does hospital Hello. look like Detective the damn Phelps. police station? Here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No! I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. Feeling better I need since this my morning, lawyer. Jessica. Hey, a little. where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Who the hell is that talking? Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. Now, come on now. How your underwear get torn off of you? underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? Oh! It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. What do you do? Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. The hell is going on? We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. Bitch, we found a whole letter from your... Bruh. Bruh, we found the letter. Lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Show her the letter. Show her the letter. She think we stupid. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. 
What's your association with the bishop? How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Sure. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Now we found out they raped this girl, man. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Mermaid? Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Girl, if you don't take your black ass home. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There's facts. Now you drive the car. There she goes. Come on. This nigga just gonna walk out in the open like, like they still can't see us. Put some of that rap music on. No, they had some. They ain't had no back in the day. Hey, man. Oh. Why are you putting the siren? How in the hell? Hey, man. I tried to blow the horn. Dry this thing. Hey, man. Now you stay over there. You better not. Yeah, you do that. Can y'all get out the way? Ballard is definitely up to something. Hell yeah, he is. You see how he eating the gas? You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. My bad, dog. Keep LA safe. Drive safely. Tread softly. How about you tread softly? You made a remarkably speedy recovery. Cause that bitch was never hurt. Five percent off mark. Damn, five percent. That's it. Oh, Easy, ooh, Cole. Ooh, Better ooh. back it off. Turn this thing, man. I might go buy me one. Need put this thing on some. Got the white wall rims on there. Ooh, that thing gonna be clean. I'm trying to figure out why they set old girl out though, man. I know this, this original casting couch. Get in there and see what she's up to. Man, you can't never do nothing, lazy ass dude. Run up to the door. Let me get some pie while we're here waiting. Be very clear about this. Peace pie. It's done or I'm... You may hurry up. She almost done with the phone call. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Hey, man, I know you hear me, bro. Sure, I got the film. That was the hell of a newspaper. Let 
No, we're going to wait till she get in the car. And drive off. Now, see, I should go inside your head, because I know you heard me order some pie. Don't worry about it while your damn shop ain't getting no business. Don't even worry about it. Get over, man. We got a new place to go. Can you drive to this one? Uh, where are we going? The fool apartment. On a double. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just from looking at his broad the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Casting couch? I told y'all. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? Why the hell are we running? I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Last corridor is the one on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Oh, we got that iron on you, because uh, this fool might be busting. He said the one on the right. So it got to be over here. This one on two. One on one, one on two. So one on three. Where is one on three? That fool lied to me. No, what is you doing, baby? One on three right over here. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! Ma'am, he we'll beat your ass, didn't he? We'll take a premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Is it a Bible? Doesn't look like anything. No, it can't be if it's a Bible. This isn't what we're looking for. Well, what's in here? Uh oh. Hairbrush? Diamond ring? Yeah, no. This doesn't pertain to the no, case. It's a cheap ass shit again. What is a battery? Not everything here is going to be relevant. I see that. What the hell are you gonna do with this brush, though? I doubt it. Okay. Oh, what is this here? Damn, a twenty thousand dollar check for who? The dude to earn twenty thousand dollars. That ain't nothing. Didn't tell me anything. I already know that went. What the hell y'all doing with a saddle in here? Gay cowboys. Presented to Mark. Yeah, sure. My man's still in the movie chairs and all. Put that five down, five dollars down. And get the Taco Bell box. I don't think so. Hey, 
Ain't nothing over here, man. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. <laughs> Looks like the old movie set downtown. to me. Hey man, he picked that up on his own. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. You ready to talk, young lady? Those men, I think they work for Guy McCaff. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McCaffey. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McCaffey alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Boy, I almost called her something. Lie again. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Mm-hmm. He said he'd just be on set, huh? Uh, that sounds about right. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? 20000 damn dollars. Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Yeah, I saw the check. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? Sad, man. I was 16 when I first met him. I'm sweet. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. 
Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Hey, man, pick up the phone, man. We, we got to find somebody address. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. Come on, man. Go and take me over here. We need to go to Silver Screen Props. Hurry up, old ass elevator. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife. We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost certain famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. <sighs> My man's a pedophile telling me he like him young. What's wrong with him? That's too young, man. It's too young. Why well, I'm going on this side? Come on, Uber. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? <laughs> Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting her. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. Hey man, why that thing titties is out, man? Y'all can cover that up. Big ass grizzly bear. Hold on now. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here. How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. I mean, y'all got too much stuff in here. I know this is a movie place, but damn. I think they got a gong over there. Let me hit it. Give me the, give me the bell. The gong. I mean, this, this is a nice-ass painting. Where y'all get that from? Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. We gotta look for something here. What's that? Sword? A katana? It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Put that down, man. We need that. Ain't no damn hammer. Junk. No, this is this, this something. Probably nothing. Probably nothing. Not what I said. What I meant when I said something, but it could be nothing. Was I was right, because it ain't nothing. Oh, what is this? Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Mm. They sick, man. They can't even put their stuff up. Man, we don't need to see that no more. We don't need to see that no more. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Do it, man. Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. We found one of them little, little things again. A 
Okay, get from over here. I feel like we're missing something. We need to get in that other room. Oh, there's another one of them heads over here, too. Ain't nothing on here. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Shit. You never know, big dog. It doesn't appear to be connected. Hmm. Any ideas? The room behind the mirror makes our case. We need to find a way in. How are we gonna get in there though? What was that? Y'all see that? Watch the screen doing it. We got Bukowski, get over for here. Yep. Soon as I'm finished. Use one of these things, man. I don't know what it is. Okay, they on the other side. Nah, we don't care to see that. Uh, we got other stuff to do. Oh, they got a head y'all made. So this is where you sprang from. See this old fake ass paint, man. Knock that down. Oh, he mad now. He got that kick though. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Jessica Hellman. What happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? We all know what they did with it. These sick people, man. Oh, that's how you looking at bad, though, huh? 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 Now, what's over here I haven't found yet? Bro, folks cannot drive. Y'all hear him in the back? Advice? Hit Hopkins with the evidence, Phelps. See if he sings. Yeah, man, what's up, man? We got all the evidence on your you ass, dog. Do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. 
Still pre-production though. So, bitch. The, all right, cool. He, he lying. Been around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? It don't matter. I searched in here, man. We know he was in here because the girl was drunk yesterday, and the, that uh, this. A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something, or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Ooh. Bishop was here with you and the girl. A lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, wh the where yet, though? men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. I don't know why I believe that. But... You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. You're right. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the <sighs> of something tailor made for them, like a sword or something. Come on, man. You ain't got a lot of me, dog. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. How do you think you got that $20,000 check? I'm about done with you and your accusations. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Belts. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. What the hell is this? You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg. Who the hell is these fools? That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. No, let, let them get it. Make our job easy. He's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. Tell him. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Man, why are you talking to them folks like that? Now, they come back in here, and I don't like him, bro. He gonna get us shot. Oh, oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh! Shit. I just told that man he gonna get us shot. And literally, I know. B bust out the. Oh, these niggas get busting. Hey, man. Shot from here, Cole. Them niggas straight up bust. You sit there talking to them like assholes. Boy, they do. Hey, man, call the radio. Tell them we need backup. Get out the way. Get out the way. Man, let me see that thing, man. Let me bust at him. You lose those fools, Phelps. How the hell am I losing? 
ain't got no, I ain't got that burn on me. Got the way. Got the way. Turn that siren off. I mean, damn, they still behind us. Hit that left. Got the way. Man, these niggas still behind us, man. You, you, you start busting them. We ain't shooting ducks. You just shoot. Keep it steady. Man, man, don't even matter. Get out the car. Get down, get down, get down. Where you going, cuz? Got that iron on me. Hell no, nah. get that Thompson. Where that Thompson at? Pick it up. Hey, let me pick it up. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Man, it said this boy is at me because you want to sit there and talk regulars to him. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops and broad tape. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Um. I don't know. Take me there. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child boys. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, oh. stop! Oh. LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. Man, hell. This fool running so damn slow. <laughs> Boy, what the hell is this? Gears of War? We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. Nah, it's over with, man. We got you for molesting and. No, you didn't have your boys coming at me, but wish I can shoot at your ass. They won't let me shoot. Man, shoot his ass in the in the it's damn. For McAfee's boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. Then why are you running? Why are you running? This boy jogging, he downstairs, slow as hell. I know somebody ought to be tired. I ain't gonna lie, they had to caught me on them stairs, man. I've been done with. Oh, see, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Snatch that fool back down. Hey, man! This nigga that... Alright, cool, bet. When we go up these stuff, I'm gonna beat your ass. Where you go? Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. Yeah, you getting tired now, ain't you? Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go again. Boy, you know I was all American. All American athlete, didn't you? You ain't know that, huh? Boy, I know you tired. God damn. Oh, Lord. Hands in the air, Bishop. Move another inch and you're dead. We is not playing with this man, bro. Under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh boy, they send them. They send them goons out there. You. Oh shit! Detective, hey, go, man. Kill me. Hell, now you better run. You better turn them I damn jets on like you did again. Down. 
Oh, what the hell is going on? Man, get your ass down. We need backup over here. Hour one. I'm finna let him have it. Fortnite. McAfee does bow, 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 bow. You hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's this way. Reload. Oh! Oh! We'll let them have it with that. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Man, I'm not jumping. Big mistake. Pick up that gun, though. Oh, now y'all don't want to see me, trust me. Trust me. Now you don't want to see me. I'll let all y'all boys have it. Ooh, that bitch got. That be nasty. That man got shot in the ass. Oh, 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 you, you, damn, you know he ain't gonna be in the next Mafia, and this ain't Mafia. Ooh, gunning him down. Boy, I need this. Ooh. Boy, you're down. 45. Empty. Yeah, sure. I, I guess I ran out of bullets, huh? Give me this gun. Hell, how many did you piss off? Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hold on now. Use a dummy. Use a pure dummy. We're gonna get him to the car. You just tell him to bring his ass. Weapons on the ground now. How the hell I miss? Why the hell we got army guns? Hey, bro. I don't care. If nobody say these headshots, bro. Yeah, bust his ass. Hands in the air. Bust his ass. I got him, cuz. As soon as he. Beep. Beep. Oh, that's a headshot. Let me get that. Let me get that. You ain't know what to do with it anyway, hell. You got killed. Get into the car. I can cover you from here. You're ah. almost there. Oh, oh. That's what happened when y'all let a real one. When you let a real one get the gun. Oh. See how quick he reloaded that sleight of hand. Now, this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying.
You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. Hi, man. The wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pleasure to meet whoa. you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe I don't like this nigga. Night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Shoot that fool, man. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was Cocaine's a hell of a drug. No accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me and Hey, then bro. Man, look. Who do you think you're talking to, what you German fuck? junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. We're gonna have to be dude ass, bro. Straight up. For her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? I don't know. You sitting up here slapping my own people, man. Calling us Negroes. I yeah, just gonna lie, so I did two hundred and ten dollar worth of damage, huh? That's cool. That's cool. Going to the jeweler, bust the AP, yeah. Sliding on the water like a jet ski, yeah. I'm trying to fuck you on your bestie, yeah. Chopper with this girl, so do not test me, yeah. Rip the flood, drip, go 